Hello everyone, hope all is well and welcome back. So in today's video, I am sick again. Can you guys believe it? Third time in three months. I just love the colder months for that, like as if. But anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be testing out a bunch of new products. I have some really good ones here that I'm really, really, really excited about. And Steve will also be joining us today. He's on my lap, so if you can hear some purring, it is this little beast. This is Steve for those of you who don't know him. He's my little orange kitty. I love him very much. So some of the products I will be testing out today is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I'm very, very excited to try this out. I have some Charlotte Tilbury goodies. I've never tried anything from Charlotte Tilbury before, so I'm very excited to dive into those. I also received my Flower Beauty order. I ordered a lot. I'm really, really excited to try out a few of her products. I tried a few of them yesterday when I got them because I was just way too excited to try out the cream blushes and they're very beautiful. And I also received my Victoria Beckham order. So everything looks really beautiful. <laughs> So I'm really excited to dive into this video. So before we get into it, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It means so much to me and let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to be trying out is a new primer and it's one by Ren. It's their Perfect Canvas Clean Primer. I love Ren very much and I'm really excited that they came out with a primer. I love the frosted coral packaging. It's very beautiful. So I'm excited to try this out. I haven't tried this yet. But I'm a big fan of their skincare. It's what I've mostly switched my skincare routine to. Um, so I'm, I have high hopes for this one. So I just grabbed a little bit of that. I'm gonna just slap her on. And I also did, also I woke up and I really wanted to apply some faux freckles. So that's what I did today. I did show you how I do mine in a previous video. I'll link it right here if you want to see how I do them. And maybe I should do an updated video on how I do them again so it like refreshes everyone. Ooh, this is a sticky one. It feels very similar to the Milk Hydro Grip in the stickiness. And it kind of is drying down the same way as the Hydro Grip, which is a good sign because you guys know how much I love the Hydro Grip. And I think that's going to pair very nicely with the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer I'm going to be going in with. I don't really like using very hydrating bases with these types of products because with my oily skin and that is just it's a recipe for disaster so I received these in PR and I received the shade light 5n as well as light 6w so this is 5n this one's light 6w this one seems to be blending in seamlessly so I'm gonna go with that one and that was light 5n in this launch, they also came out with a sponge, and I'm really happy they did because it's quite affordable, but I'm not going to be using this to apply it because with these lighter coverage base products, this will just suck it all up and you'll absolutely have no coverage at all. So I am just going to be applying it like normal, and if there's too much product down, I will be going over with the sponge. But I did use this sponge yesterday with the Galan Gold Foundation, and it was beautiful. This one is very similar to the Real Techniques sponge but it feels more like a beauty blender than the Real Techniques one. So this is a really good one. I am really excited that they came out with the sponge. But to apply this, I'm going to be using my normal brush and this is the Royal Lang Nickel Complexion Brush. Now that it's on my face, it's looking a little bit pink. So I'm going to try to add in a tiny bit of this one since this one is a little bit more yellow. So I'm hoping this will help it, help it because this is not looking great. I'm going to try to bounce over everything with a beauty blender. Right now it's kind of looking patchy and it's really sticking on top of my skin. It's not looking good at this time and I look ill. After going over it with the sponge and letting it settle a little bit, it looks a lot better. I think it's just not as glowy as I was expecting it to be. It's a lot more of a natural, almost matte finish. I don't, I don't know, maybe it's the primer I used in combination with this that didn't really work. I think I should have went with the light 6W shade just because it has more of a yellow undertone. Um, this one oxidized to be a little bit more pink 
for me and that just makes my skin look gray and that's why I kind of looked a little bit sick there. I'm gonna try this corrector right here. This is Charlotte Tilbury's. I don't even know. It doesn't say what it is, but I know it's like a peach under eye corrector and I have the shade one fair. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this just because I uh, didn't get much sleep last night. Oh, it's kind of doing a weird thing. Do you see what it's doing? What are you doing? In person, in my mirror, it looks like I'm wearing a white mask. I'm gonna wipe this off and I'm just gonna try the light 6W shade on its own. Okay, I think the primer might be the culprit because it's all pilling. It's pilling all over on me now. I'm gonna try this one more time and I'm gonna skip primers altogether and I'm just going to moisturize with the Summer Friday Jet Life Mask and see how that goes. Okay, now it's looking really, really good. The color is still not great for me. I, I don't know about that, but it actually does look like skin again. My skin is a little bit irritated just because I wiped it off twice. It doesn't look like it's sticking on top of my skin. It looks a lot more natural now. So it definitely was that primer. That primer I will have to try out with other foundations I'm more familiar with and love and see how that goes. But um, yeah. So I guess more of a hydrating base does work with this, but we'll see with my oily skin. And I am going to try to add this once again, because maybe the primer was causing this to act a little bit weird as well. I'm going to try to work a little bit faster and blend that out a little bit more. Also, by wiping off my base twice, all my freckles are gone, so that was a waste of time, which, oh well. But that brightens up the under eye like crazy. I zoomed out way too far. Oopsies. But that looks a lot better than what it was before. Okay, things are looking up, you guys. I was getting a little discouraged. I have this Magic Away Liquid Concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. I have the shade 3. Oh, not yet. Nothing yet. Oh my gosh. Okay, please. Hello? Okay. Ooh, this looks quite yellow, but we'll see. I'm gonna blend it out with the ColourPop sponge. Ooh, that's a really nice concealer. That just blended out flawlessly. Okay, I really like this concealer upon first impression. It looks nice and glowy under the eye. Do you see this? Ooh, and that blended out very, very nicely. Ooh, okay. I think I'm gonna be a fan of this concealer. The color might be a little tiny, tiny bit pale for me. I think that's the theme of today's video, but I'm gonna just push through, see what the products look like. Once I add bronzer and stuff, it might be okay. I'll do a nice close-up so you can see what the base is looking like. And I don't use any skin smoothers on my videos so you can see what like, my natural texture looks like and everything else. I don't have a new bronzer so I'm just going to use my Fenty Beauty in the Sun. And I have a new favorite bronzing brush. This is the Nabla Cheek Shaper. I like how it comes to a tapered end so you can get more chiseled look. Or you can lay it on its side so you can get more of a all over bronzy look. I'm just gonna quickly pencil in my brows like normal and then I'm going to use this stuff, this Flower Beauty Bubble Brow. I used this yesterday and I loved it. I got this because of how much Mariah Leonard loves this. So, and I used to be a big soap brows girl. That's all I would wear. I wore soap brows for two years in a row and I'm really excited about this product. So I'm gonna pencil in my brows with this ColourPop Soft Black Brow Boss Pencil.
And then I'm also going to add my hair like strokes with my Glossier Brow Flick and I use the shade black. Okay, so now I'm ready for this bubble brow and this is water activated. It does come with this little brush and spoolie thing, but it's really small to handle. So I'm just going to use a spoolie off of this brush right here from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I have this little bottle with water in it, so I'm just going to spritz and then kind of gather up some of that. And you want to start off with a little bit because this stuff can be very, very intense if it's just like soap. I used this yesterday and it just exa it, it acts exactly like soap, which is great, but it's tinted. So you don't get that cast that some soaps can give. If you aren't familiar with soap brows, people do set their brows with soap because it's a very, it's, it's like the best brow gel especially if you want those brows that are kind of in style, super feathered and straight up. It's very editorial looking. I don't do super, I kind of like to do that in the front, not as intense as it is right now, but I kind of, I, I comb them all up and then I'll take the spoolie edge and just kind of comb them back. And then you just get a really nice textured brow that's gonna stay all day. So, so far I'm a really big fan of this. I'll probably continue using this every day because it is a very nice brow gel, but it doesn't, doesn't make your brows feel very crunchy, which is nice. And I'm so happy she came out with this. I think this is just really, really awesome. Now I'm going to move on to the eyes and I'm going to be using the Persona Identity 2 palette because I really want to recreate this look I have on Instagram here. I'll put it up right here so you can see it a little bit better, but it's kind of cool. It has like a tealy green on the lower lash line and then it goes up into like a nice bronzy eye and this is the perfect palette to do so because it has like this nice bronzy shade as well as this really really pretty green and i'm going to save the victoria beckham products for my clean beauty i have coming up i've never tried the persona shadows before i've only swatched this palette but it seems really gorgeous the shimmers feel very very buttery so i'm just gonna go quickly prime my eyes and i'll be right back I just quickly did this eye just to plan it out, see if it was gonna execute well, and holy smokes, I love it. But this palette is so nice. The shadows are so beautiful and easy to work with. So the first shade I dipped into is Loyal with a Smith 232, and I just put that into the crease. Then with a Smith 253, I'm going to dip into the shade Brave. And I'm first concentrating this the most on the lash, the mobile lid, and then I will blend it up with another brush. And then I'm gonna take this Nabla Precision Soft Crease Brush with a little bit of Brave and a little bit of Loyal. And I'm gonna start defining the crease with this. But now I'm gonna take my ring finger and take the shade Resilient, and I'm just going to place that in the center. And I'm bringing that kind of high because her shimmer shade in this look goes all the way up into the crease. When I have less product on my finger, I'm gonna drag it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna take that Nabla brush just to knock off any excess. I put a little bit too much, I got a little excited there. I'm going to use the black after because the black is on the top and the bottom and now I'm going to use this Urban Decay Overdrive 24-7 Glide On Pencil and I'm going to put that into the waterline as well as under the lashes. I like this one because it has a little bit of shimmer so it's perfect for this look because her waterline has a little bit of a glow. And I'm taking this ColourPop E10 brush to kind of soften and blend this out. And then I'm going to dampen this with some Fix Plus. I always dampen my shimmer shades that I use on the lower lash line for precision and so that that shimmer shade doesn't float up into my eye. And I'm taking the shade Driven to place this on top, which is almost an exact shade of that overdrive. I'm just gonna take a Smith 230 with the Loyal shade, and I'm just going to dust this on the bottom just to tie in that shade to the base. And now I'm going to be adding that black shade, and I'm going to be using this Sonia Kashuk pencil brush. I don't know the name of it, it's rubbed off. I'm going to be taking Limitless, 
and this is a really really good black shadow it's very very pigmented so be careful so I'm just gonna add that to the bottom first because that's where it's the deepest in this picture and this is closer to the lashes so I'm concentrating it there I'm not blowing it up into the crease as much I'll do it a little bit but not too much I want the darkest to be near the lashes and there it is I am going to add just a little tiniest bit of honest this is a really it has a pink reflect to it which I don't super love for this look but I wanted something a little bit brighter on the lid so I just took a little bit of that and kind of blended it into the brown just for a little highlight I just quickly curled my lashes and now I'm gonna try out this mascara it's from Charlotte Tilbury it's her full fat lashes I really like the packaging it looks nice and bougie <laughs> This mascara does make them look really nice, but it's not like an extraordinary mascara. It doesn't really make the lashes pop out or make the eyes look even more intense. I don't know, I don't super love this. Maybe for more natural days this would be awesome, but for this kind of eye, this is a no-go. I think this look needs some lashes, especially because this one doesn't really bring out anything more. So I'm going to quickly apply some lashes and I'll be right back. And here are the eyes all finished. The lashes I used are Esquito Lash Lorette. I love this look so much. And this palette is so creamy and beautiful. I'm really, really excited to have it. Now to finish off the rest of the face, I'm going to apply my highlighter. And I'm going to be using the Nabla Amnesia Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder. And I'm going to be using their new brush that came along with this, which I've been loving as well. This is their brush they came out with, which is very similar to the one I love so much from the BH Cosmetics and It's My Rayway collection that they so rudely discontinued with all my other BH Cosmetic favorite brush lines. For example, this one, the Neon Festival collection, as well as this one, the Royal Affair. All of them, gone. Rude. So I'm using this one. <laughs> This is their highlighter brush, that's what it's called. So pretty and bright and intense. I love the effect of this highlighter. I love this highlighter a lot because it gives like an editorial vibe. You know how they're super intense, but they're not glittery or chunky. They just look very, very smooth. This one gives that vibe to me, and I really, really like it. And for my blush, I'm really excited because I have these three from Flower Beauty. I I tried Cinnamon yesterday, and that's the one I'm going to be using today because I think it just matched the eyes a little bit more, and it's kind of a fall tone. But I picked up all of these because I thought they might be a dupe to the Cloud Paints from Glossier, and I love cream blushes like this, so I picked up most of the shades, and I think I want to pick up more because I am already a huge fan of this. The applicator is a lot more easy to control than the Glossier Cloud Paints because it has this little weird nub at the end and you can kind of see the product move through it so you can predict how much you're gonna squirt out, which is really nice because the Glossier Cloud Paints, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a hassle, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm going to be using this discontinued brush from BH Cosmetics. It's the number three from the Festival Collection if you have this collection. And I'm going to just tap some on with my finger to begin with. And then I'm taking this brush and just kind of bouncing it in. This formula is a lot more balmy feeling than the Glossier one. The Glossier is a water base, so it's a little bit more, it dries down a little bit quicker and you can't really feel it. And that blush pairs very nicely with these eyes. I really love that. And it has a little bit of a glow since it is more of a balmy emollient texture, which I am a big fan of. So for the lips, this is the Persona Toffee Gloss. So it still has that same kind of tone.
And here is the final look. I am so happy with how this turned out. I am in love with the eyes. I think that's my favorite aspect of this look. I think they just have so much dimension and these shadows were just so pigmented and creamy to work with. I am very, very impressed with this palette. Now I'm gonna get into my final thoughts about all the products I've tried out today. So first starting off with the Ren Primer. This is gonna be short and sweet. I didn't have the best first impression with this, but I'm going to try it out with some other foundations that I'm more familiar with. Maybe something with the Hyaluronic Acid in the Pretty Fresh uh, Tinted Moisturizer combated with whatever's in here. So I don't really know yet. And then next with the Tinted Moisturizer from ColourPop. Um, definitely not a favorite. I don't think I'd reach for this that much. I would definitely reach for my Nude Sticks Tinted Cover a lot more than this than I would with this one. I am pretty upset because I was really looking forward to this one from ColourPop. I, it does look okay right now, but it just, I, had, I definitely had a little bit of a struggle and just the color was a little bit off and I don't know, I just, I don't really love it. I'm, I don't know, I don't, I don't think I'd recommend this one, sadly. Uh, maybe I'll have to try it out a few more times before giving a final thought. I'll definitely update in a future video about that because I just, after today, I don't have the best impression of it. Then going in with the Charlotte Tilbury, I'm not sure what this is even called, but the color corrector for under the eye. I did really like this, it immediately brightened up the under eye. I will probably be continuing using these on my more tired days like I am today. I It did immediately work. It did get a little weird on top of this at first, but when I worked a little bit faster, it seemed to work a lot better. And the concealer layered very nicely on top of it, didn't make my under eyes look cakey whatsoever. So that's a good sign, because a lot of other color correctors like this have made me look super cakey in the areas I put it. But this one, so far so good. I did like this one, I'll probably continue using it. Next for the concealer, I don't really know. It blended out beautifully, the color was really nice. I just, how much is in here? There's like barely any product in here. There's 0.13 ounces. And look at this little pump up thing, I just realized it. You can see how much left I have. And I already gone through that much and I just used it once. So I don't know if this is really worth the monies but the formula was really pretty and the application was nice but I don't think it's worth the price tag then for my brows this bubble brow from flower beauty I love this stuff I'm really really excited about it just because it just really sets your brows in place and gives them a lot of dimension and a lot of fluff which I'm really into that brow look I'm personally very into the big fluffy brows so this is a product that helps me achieve that so I love it and I'm really really excited to have this and I would really recommend this product if you're looking for a product to help you get that fluffy brow that's gonna last all day this is what's gonna give it to you for the palette I bet you guys already know what I'm gonna say I love this palette the shadows in here were so easy to blend and work with they're very very creamy both the mattes and the shimmers and they're very very impactful I just really loved the shadows and I'm really really excited to continue using this palette as I said earlier I'm really sad I didn't reach for this earlier I I don't know what I don't know what I I'm now addicted to swatching this because this swatches really nicely as well wow these tones are so perfect for fall I think this is a really really nice palette and I like how it's kind of small but you get some big pan sizes I think this is a really really great palette I'm really excited about this for the Charlotte Tilbury full fat lashes I didn't really I didn't really love this maybe for lighter makeup days it'd be nice to have more of a soft lash look but it wasn't as intensely black as others so this one I didn't really love didn't really give me the effect I wanted for this look for the blush the flower beauty what is this even called the blush bombs I really really love these so far this is the only shade I've used I am very very impressed with it I like how it's more balmy so you get a little bit more working time compared to the Glossier because the Glossier ones are water-based so they dry down a little bit quicker 
but this one is really nice and it didn't separate any of the makeup or get weird or anything which is really nice I like how it gives like a little bit of a subtle look to your blush and I just always love creams how they just look super natural so this one I'm very 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 excited about and for the highlighter this isn't really a first impression for this one I use this in a few of my recent videos but it's still pretty fresh I just I, I do really like this highlighter the shade amnesia is definitely my favorite I just think it just like I said earlier it gives a really nice editorial look and I just I've been loving this one and finally for the gloss this is the persona gloss in toffee I love her gloss formula I think it's stunning these have been the glosses I reach for most and that says a lot because I usually reach for the Fenty gloss bombs or the Glossier gloss and her formula has been the only one that I've been reaching a lot for a glossy lip and the products that stood out to me the most and made me the most excited are these five right here the Nabla highlighter the flower beauty blush the bubble brow from flower beauty the identity 2 palette and the persona gloss and the things that didn't really stick out to me today were the rest and that is all from me and Steve today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a like. It helped me out so much. I'll make sure to link all the products I used in the description down below. And I would love to know what videos you would like to see in the upcoming weeks. That would help me out very much. And before I go, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!